What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Snakes and Trails Season 3. My name's Tyler Carlson and today I'm headed out to the lower desert of Arizona looking for Mexican rosy boas, Lishanura trivagata trivagata. I'm really, really excited, so let's go ahead and get to it and see what we can find. All right, guys, it is so good to be back on this road. This is one of my all-time favorite roads to look for snakes. And the last time I was on it, we found two desert rosy boas, and I just danced. I literally danced right on the road. I was so excited. So got really high hopes for tonight. I'm really excited to see whatever we find. And uh, yeah, let's get at it. All right guys, today's episode of Snakes and Trails features a two second review of crappy herping food like Dintymore beef stew. <laughs> this is a classic herping food. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I'll eat this and tell you how it is. <laughs> so the cool thing about this area is that the landscape is just riddled with saguaro cactuses, Oregon pipe cactuses, ocotillo, creosote. And right now, all the ocotillo are in bloom. They have little orange, really beautiful blooms on top of their really tall stalks. And I'll show you what that looks like. But wow, this landscape is one of my favorites. It's just beautiful. It's about, right now it's about 98 degrees, which is crazy hot, but it doesn't even feel like it's 98 degrees. It just feels amazing. This is my kind of place. It's just beautiful. So anyway, I can't wait to get out here and start looking for some snakes. It needs to cool off a little bit. Maybe the sun can get a little bit lower in the sky. And uh, I'm going to keep chowing down. And then I might uh, get out here a little bit and film some B-roll of some of these uh, beautiful cactuses and plants. Pretty cool. Look at this little army of choya cactuses. They call them teddy bear choyas, but I don't think I'd want to hug one of them. Yeesh. All right, that's enough flowers for me. Now it's time to catch a snake. All right guys, here's my first snake of the night. It's this Western Diamondback Crotalus Aatrox. It's the first one I've ever seen out here in this part. And, um, man, I was out last weekend with my friend and I lost my lens cap. So I only have my wide angle lens because I didn't want to bring my nice normal lens. So I can't really zoom any further on this guy. And I don't want to, like, risk getting bitten out here. But anyway, cool find. I'm going to get him off the road. My friend Travis is out here cruising back and forth with me. Um, I don't think he'll care if I don't show him the Aatrox. But cool. First snake in a long time. All right guys, so I went ahead and made camp for the night. Uh, I only saw that one Aatrox, which was definitely a bummer. That's like the um, the voice of Arizona laughing in my face um, about not seeing any snakes. So anyway, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with Arizona right now, but it's just not the snakiest time of the year and it seems like it should be grayed out. So anyway. I'm gonna get some rest and uh, go from there. I have um, an online class tomorrow I have to work on, and then um, I'll do this all over again, same circuit. Maybe we can find something, maybe we won't. We'll see what happens. All right guys, so it's the next day, 
um, and I took a lovely nap this afternoon, got some extra rest after cruising through the night last night, um, and only seeing that one diamond back, which was a total bummer. Uh, I'm not sure why the snakes aren't out as much as they were last year right now, but um, yeah, it's kind of weird. Last April, I saw tons of snakes. So anyway, I have had nights on this road before where I haven't seen anything, and then the next night it popped off with tons of snakes under like the same conditions. It's just a matter, I think, of getting lucky. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cruise this road tonight one more time, and if I don't see anything, I'm gonna go ahead and change my plan again, and I'm not sure what I'll do yet. So I'll think about that. Uh, we'll cruise and I'll show you whatever I find. And from there, we'll just keep on adventuring. I'll show you what happens. All right, guys. Just down this uh, really cool Mojave rattlesnake, Crotalus scutellatus. This thing is feisty. And they're actually one of the most venomous rattlesnakes in the United States. So I'm not going to mess around too much with him. He's freaking out at this moth. It's kind of funny. But anyway, I'm going to leave him be and keep going. All right guys, here's the next thing we cruised. It's a Sonoran Desert Toad, or the Colorado River Toad. They're um, pretty well known for being big green toads that have tubercles behind their eyes and on their hind legs that secrete toxins. And those toxins are known to be hallucinogenic. Um, and I just can't get a good bit of footage of them for you. All right, guys, this next snake is a Sonoran Desert Sidewinder. Really, really cool. These guys are super fun. They move sideways, they have horns, and they're just pretty cool snakes. Anyway, I'm going to get some uh, photos of him and let him go.